Hi and welcome to another video from the Market Outlook. So in today's video, we'll be looking at Apple and Facebook and be doing technical analysis on the daily time frame. So currently what we have first is Apple. So Apple is on the daily time frame, currently trading at $148 and it used to rally from a $123 base price all the way up to $150. So two things. First, it read it high and it broke the previous resistance. So this resistance is now the newly formed support. And you can see that this newly formed support, if I zoom in, has been retested three times and you can see higher lows and buyers coming in to push prices higher. And of course, if you look at the price action specifically, you can see after the rally, it formed an ascending channel. So this ascending channel is a very typical textbook example of the bulls losing a bit of momentum and needs further consolidation. So from a price action pure standpoint, without looking at the indicators, we can expect further consolidation in Apple and there might be a risk of a retest or break of this channel into this support structure. So currently, if we look at the traders dynamic index over here, so this is the traders dynamic index and the green line is the RSI. You can see the RSI was overbought back in July. And this has coincided with this consolidation pattern over here. And you can see RSI showing loss in momentum as well and is currently trading below this market sentiment line. So this market sentiment line is the yellow line. So it's above the 50 level, is in the buy zone and this shows good bullish momentum. However, you can see that this market line is actually going downwards, it's curling downwards. So this is not what we like to see. Typically, we like to see it rising. We always ask what could be better in our technical analysis is that if we see this green RSI line above this market sentiment line. So this is what preferably I would like to see. This market sentiment line being curling upwards and this RSI crossing this market sentiment line that will give us more confluence and more confidence in buying into Apple. So currently this is what we are expecting of Apple, we're expecting further consolidation. Right now, Apple is reaching uncharted territories. So of course, I think there will be some price dynamics there where prices will try to find its footing and find further consolidation. And we can expect prices to either break down to the support zone and we can see a further price up. So if prices do break down, if let's say it hits at this 50 day EMA, the blue line you can see, I'll put my stop loss below this I'll put my stop loss below this support zone and I'll do a two hour approach solely because price action is in uncharted territories. I'll use a two hour approach and put a price target of about $160. This gives us a bit above two R. So you can have 2.35 risk to reward ratio, meaning that you risk $1 to earn $2.35. So this is a very good price target of $160. But of course, we will have to wait for further consolidation in this support zone before we look for buying entries. So that's for Apple. If we look at Facebook, this is the daily time frame for Facebook and I've done a markup before on Facebook. So let me delete some so that I can see it clearer. So for Facebook, you can see that this price action has rallied from a base of $255 all the way to uncharted territories of about $376. So this is a very clear bullish price action for Facebook. And you can see that this trend line has been respected multiple times. So a good thing about this trend line is that this trend line has confluence with this 50 EMA and this 50 EMA is slowly following this trend line as well. And you can see that buyers have been respecting, let me zoom in a bit, buyers have been respecting this 50 day EMA a lot and buyers are just coming in buying Facebook higher and higher. So you have higher highs, higher lows, it's bullish. Very clear cut price action from Facebook and much cleaner than what we saw in Apple technical analysis. If you look at the traders dynamic index, the market sentiment line is above in the buy zone as well. So this gives us very good bullish indication and you can see that it's not curling downward. So it's holding it steady above this 50 level and you can see that RSI is crossing this market sentiment as well. So this is showing very good bullish momentum. So how I'll be looking to enter Facebook will be if I'm able to get a further retest on this trend line, this box I've drawn over here, if I can get about this price of 362 and I put a stop loss below the previous low, we can get a 2R risk to reward ratio of about $390 to $392 where we can risk $1 to earn $2. So this shows a very good 
quick technical analysis on the day time frame. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did find value, do remember to like and subscribe and trade safe. I'll see you in the next one.